Okay, so for the last part of this uh, problem set, uh, part A asks which part of student 1's reasoning is correct. And the thing that student 1 said that was correct is that the upper string supports the weight plus the applied force. That's true. It's having to hold both of them up. Um, and so one point for that. The second one, student 2, is correct um, that in order for the string to break, you must pull with enough force to exceed the strength of the string. Right? So that, that's true. And part C, student 1 is incorrect that the upper string will always break first, while student 2 is incorrect in stating that the shorter piece of string will always break first if the string is pulled slowly. So to resolve the lines of reasoning here, you could say something like, when the lower string is pulled slowly, the upper string must support the weight plus the force you apply. The lower string does not have to support the weight, so the upper string breaks first in this case. If you pull the string with a sudden uh, pull, then the weight undergoes a larger acceleration. This can only be accomplished if the lower string exerts a large force due to the weight. If the force needed to accelerate the weight exceeds the strength of the lower string, it breaks.